Hmm, another gorgeous banner. Well, they aren't really that good. If possible, I would like to skip it to save some quartz. Let's see. No rolling on summer banner, I guess. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on this Gaia RPG. Today we'll talk about the one and only Archangel Flown. She is one of the best supporters in the game, but she drops from a gorgeous banner, which is why some players may not pull for her yet. Before the 1.5 anniversary celebration, we are supposed to receive a gorgeous banner rerun, which comes with Krzyzewskoy, Archangel Flown, Lamington, and Des X. Some players decided to skip all gorgeous banners to roll on this specific banner, but I advise against it, as there are many limited characters you want to get in the 1.5 anniversary. With that in mind, this may be the best time to get Archangel Flown. So let's talk about her kit. Archangel Flown is a gorgeous unit, but that doesn't really seem to be the case when you look at her stats. Her attack and resistance are above the 13 million mark, but that really doesn't matter. If anything, I would say her resistance is more important, as she can use healing skills. Her any zero gives an 18% boost to attack and int to all allies. The numbers aren't anything special, but the fact that it works for both sides of the spectrum is very good. Her any one gives a 30% buff to all main stats and speed for one turn to the ally with the highest attack. This is what makes her fit so well into most teams. The buff doesn't depend on the speed or the turn order, but the attack stat. Usually, this will work to your advantage. Just be mindful of who receives the buff if you are using a sub attacker or an in team. Her any 5 increases the damage of skills for all allies. The damage boost is tied to the number of surviving allies. With 5 allies, the damage boost goes up to 20%. This ability is very useful, but is meant to be used with full level up teams, as strategies where you expect characters to die are unable to take full advantage of it. Last is her 7 This is a 15 SP battery for allies with a defense buff. Thankfully, she can proc this ability on her own, but she needs extra SP generation for herself. For her skills, she has 2 single target attacks and 2 AoE attacks, but what's really important about them is their extra effects. First we have Love Knuckle, which gives a 45% buff to defense and resistance. It cannot be used consecutively, but it doesn't matter, the real use of this skill is to proc her any 7. Next is 3 Dram Meow, a single target S rank attack with fire element that adds 10% of Archangel's flown resistance as extra damage and heals her. It's her strongest skill, but probably the one that you'll use the least as it's better to use her as a full dedicated supporter instead of a sub attacker. Saint Arrow is her cheap AoE. This skill heals the party while providing ailment immunity for two turns. And of course, her NE3 skill is Great Flouncer X, a high cost water element AoE attack which raises the party's basic stats by 25% and increases a single ally's critical damage by 20%. To finish with her kit, let's talk about her magic spells. She has both good healing spells and buffs. She unlocks Mega Braveheart at level 22, Mega Espor at level 30, and Giga Heal at level 40. Archangel Flown always provides defensive buffs, SP, and healing for the party. Most often than not, you will use her high cost AoE attack to increase your main DPS damage as it provides a critical damage buff which are still kind of rare. In the future, when we have higher critical damage boost, you may consider using Mega Braveheart instead of this skill. The only thing that you have to be careful with is her any one. Usually, your main attacker is going to have the highest attack, but if you're using an intim or a supporter with high attack, this buff may get redirected to a different character. For example, Madoka will be a staple once she releases, thanks to her overheal skill and SP battery ability, but she has 15 million attack. If you're using her on an inti, she'll probably snatch Archangel Flown's boss. Archangel Flown is never going to be working as your main attacker, not only because she isn't a 15 million attacker, but also because most of her abilities give their benefits to all allies. She doesn't even receive the benefit from her SP battery. In the same way, it's meaningless to talk about what attacker pairs well with her, as she benefits both sides of the spectrum. She can clearly work better with physical attackers, but that's only because she can use Mega Braveheart. All of her abilities and buffs benefit whatever main attacker you're using. So instead, we will talk about the other support you want next to her. With her medium cost skills, she needs to generate a lot of SP in order to use them constantly. That's why you should consider using Supreme Laharl. Not only does he pair well with her thanks to the SP battery on his any one, but also because of his supreme style, which buffs all stats. This matches perfectly with Archangel's flown any one. And the critical damage boost from his any seven is also very good. If you use Archangel Flown on an intim, then consider using Santa Rosaline. Her generic SP battery ability and her huge int buffs are good enough reasons to use her. 
Future Rosalie is another viable option if you decide to use humanoid teams, as her Unify gives the party damage boost to single target attacks, and she has good buffs and debuffs. Formal Artina is probably the best unit you can pair with Archangel Flown. She is the reason why I didn't suggest to pull another copy of her, as she is very similar to Archangel Flown, providing tons of buffs and boosts from her abilities and skills, and she even has a skill which gives an extra action to an ally and a 15 SP regen along with an attack and int buff. Reubens is another good buffer and debuffer, which also provides SP regen, cancels enemies buffs, and grants extra SP thanks to her overheal skill. Sapphire Sin is one of the best attack buffers in the game, thanks to her abilities and skills. She works best next to an Axe DPS unit, but the vast majority of the buffs and boosts she provides aren't restrictive. If you plan to use a Water Element main attacker, then Maiden Salvatore is another excellent option to pair with Archangel Flown. She has good buffs and abilities meant to increase the damage of your main DPS, and Archangel Flown can proc Maid Salvatore's any 5 with her high cost AoE. I suggest you don't use Madoka next to Archangel Flown due to her high attack, unless you're using a physical main DPS. And that's it. Archangel Flown is really good, so try to get a copy of her if you can. If you like the video, share, like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.